How much does it put on you guys? You got a lot of injuries in the defensive lines, and you guys have kind of had to not rotate as much as you probably would have liked. How much pressure does that put on you individually and just the D line as a whole? Um, not not really that much pressure, you know. Just just being here, you know, playing for a team like this. The level, regardless of you know what position or circumstance you you're in, uh, the level of expectation is always high. So you know, just being a football player, you're just gonna try your best to contribute and help your team out, regardless of situations. How comfortable are you? Um, 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 I'm content right now, but definitely I'm looking to to improve some more. So just being this. Uh, Situation right now, it's a good situation, but I'm definitely looking more to you know improve, improve my game, and to be more of a asset to the team. About a month ago, you were talking to us about you know last year your big deal was getting in shape. Mm -hmm. how, how do you feel right now after? I feel season? I feel like I'm in a way better shape compared to last year. You know, obviously uh, shedding the pounds and you know, just getting a. Uh, Showcasing my athleticism really helped me in terms of this year, and you know, just I'm definitely seeing the results that I put in in the summer and the off season, you know, um, show forth. So definitely looking forward to seeing the rest of the season and get opportunity opportunity to uh, showcase my ability even more. I guess this weekend is going to be a pretty good test for that, I mean, as quick as Tech likes to play and have as many plays as they like to run. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you know, definitely. Definitely grateful for the fact that we get to go up against another, you know, great football team, you know, Texas Tech. Um, they're a good team, you know, they got a great offense. So definitely looking forward to see our defense step up against, step up, you know, once again and, you know, perform. After the game, Bob said that he felt you guys were getting more consistent on the defensive side. Uh, do you guys feel like you are getting more consistent on, on that side of the ball? Definitely, definitely. Um, and what I like most about our defense that, you know, we're a kind of defense where we don't stay still. We always try to find ways to improve and be better as a defense. You know, definitely each game is a stepping stone. So obviously getting an opportunity to play against Texas Tech is just a, another chance for us to improve our game and to, you know, be a uh, more sound defense. How did it feel for you getting being the star Saturday? Um, it, it felt great, you know. Um, Obviously, you know, being a redshirt freshman, that's one of those things where you look forward to, you know, you, you really practice and you train to get that opportunity. So when I got the opportunity to start, you know, I was really excited, um, you know, a little bit nervous. But as soon as I got on the field, that changed. So just the fact that I got to be on the field with the veteran guys and, you know, play with them, you know, really, it really just pushed me more. And, you know, um, just gave me a little taste of, you know, opportunity I have if you know, I continue to improve. So I really enjoyed that. What do you like about your game? What, what do you think is your strength? I feel that um, obviously, even though I am a a big guy, I feel that my speed more than anything, you know, um, it, it's just one of those things where you know people, it's kind of hard to justify just because you know the the build that I have, but you know, definitely my speed and my ability, you know, to to get off the ball. So, how big of an adjustment was it for you coming from whatever level of high school competition you had in, in Canada to University of Oklahoma? Um, it was a. It was a pretty big adjustment just for the fact, you know, the level of expectation expectation being here, you know, is a lot higher. So um, just coming from where I'm at, definitely, you know, appreciate the fact that I got to play in Canada. But, you know, coming over here, you just see, like, you know, you got to increase the work ethic. You got to increase, you know, the level of expectation. A lot of the coaches, you know, they expect the players to perform at their highest level. So just, just being here and understanding, you know, the how complex it could be at times, just, you know, in terms of, you know, the plays or just making sure alignment and stuff like that. So um, definitely, even though it was a bit of an adjustment, I appreciate that because, you know, it allows me to be a better football player and understand the game a lot better. How much how much of a step was that to take to come from Canada? I mean, it's, a lot of guys come from a long way, but I guess from an entirely different country. I know you're next door, but still, was that – a big step that you had to take was it a hard step to take, I guess? Uh, not, not, not as much as uh, people expected because, you know, it was always my dream growing up to come play football in the United States. So, you know, getting the opportunity um, at a young age, obviously when I was getting recruited in high school, you know, I took advantage of that. But um, I wouldn't say it was that hard of an adjustment just because, you know, even prior to being here, I was traveling back and forth across, you know, America to Canada. So it wasn't that big of a jump. So. Did you follow college football quite a bit, and were you aware of the Sooners? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I, my first, actually, my first visual to Sooners back, I believe, in 
ninth grade uh, summertime, I had the opportunity to watch the ESPN All Access. So just seeing, just seeing that, and just seeing, you know. Then obviously, after seeing that, I did my research and just seeing, you know, the winning tradition that the Sooners had. I felt that you know, if I ever got that chance, I would love to be a part of that. So, you know, I'm blessed because I'm here today. So I'm thankful for that. What do you want to accomplish against Tech? Personal goals? Um, You know, just like I would any other football team, I just want to do my best to play, you know, sound football, make sure, you know, I, I do my best again to contribute to the team, you know, make plays, but, you know, just... Um, do my best to make sure you know I make no mistakes and all that stuff. How have you seen the uh, the attitude of the locker room change over the last few weeks uh, since the Ohio State loss? I mean, the thing is, again, one of the main things where I uh, appreciate the Sooners that you know, win or lose, you know, that locker room doesn't change. The guys still love each other. We still want the best for each other. So there was never um, he say. Or you know, pointing the fingers. It's, it was a team effort. So you win or lose, you know, we all contribute, and we're all one team. So regardless of that loss, you know, if anything, it just made us stronger. It just helped us build and you know become better, better players and better guys on and off the field. So.